All right, so this is pretty interesting now. The New Hampshire data is a little bit confusing, to be quite honest with you. But this is the poll that kept spamming, okay? They put out, like, four polls in the span of, like, five days, all right? I don't know why. It seemed like because their poll was benefiting Pete Buttigieg, and so they just kept putting it up over and over and over again, which is pretty hilarious, as we'll look at. But it actually has the pre-debate numbers and the post-debate numbers very, very different. So it has Bernie, it had Bernie at 24, Buttigieg at 25, Klobuchar at 6, before, now it has Bernie at 27, Buttigieg at 19, and Klobuchar at 14. Now that's a plus 3 for Bernie, a minus 6 for Buttigieg, and a plus 8 for Klobuchar. So it's pretty obvious to see what's going on here. Obviously, a bunch of Pete people went over to Klobuchar, which is good. Because uh, I don't think Klobuchar is going to hit that 15. So if she don't hit that 15 and she took it away from Buttigieg, that's amazing. Actually, I guess even if she hits the 15, it's not that, you know, bad. You know, it would still be better if she doesn't hit the 15, but it's not the end of the world if she does. In fact, it could still be good in a net number, but uh, let's hope that she doesn't hit 15. So this is crucial. Now, the polling data is a little bit all over the place, to be quite frank with you. Now, the Emerson polls just have Bernie demolishing by, like, anywhere between 7 to 10 points. But as I told you earlier, this is we're looking at a real clear politics average here. So these are the former polls. Now, uh, Boston Globe slash Suffolk released one, uh, 2.8 through 2.9, 2.7 through 2.8, um, and then down here, 2.6 through 2.7. 2.5 through 2.6, 2.4 through... So it was almost like they're getting paid to put these out. And as you can see from these numbers, you know, starting from here, they really started to go in favor of Pete Buttigieg. And so I'm thinking that, you know, they... From my understanding, they kind of uh, oversample older folks. And so it seemed to support Buttigieg. Now, that's not to say that there wasn't a boost for Buttigieg after, after the Iowa caucus. Because there's no doubt. There was definitely a boost for sure. Um... But this one's plus 8, the recent Boston Globe poll. Then an Emerson poll has Bernie plus 7. This Boston Globe poll, which was literally the day prior, had Bernie up just a measly 2 points. Emerson had a, 10, a plus 10. CNN has plus 7. That's an important number. YouGov, what YouGov does is, is it gives Warren extra numbers. Okay, YouGov is basically pretty much a Warren outlet, honestly. So that still has Sanders plus 4, not the margin we want. We want Bernie to be up like 7. 7 is a sweet spot, but if it's 10, I mean, that's a beautiful number. Uh, Boston Herald had Bernie up up 3. This one had Buttigieg in plus 1. This is the only one to have Buttigieg in the lead, and so that's why I was shocked to see this number. But this number happened not really so much because Bernie is like doing like a surge. It's really because Buttigieg lost support to Klobuchar, which is awesome, dude. Awesome, in fact. I would much prefer Klobuchar over Pete Buttigieg. In fact... I would take anybody over Pete Buttigieg. I like Joe Biden better than Pete Buttigieg. I like Amy Klobuchar better than Pete Buttigieg. Even the slithery snake um, I like better than Pete Buttigieg. So, all you know, and that's great for us if she can't hit 15. That would be really, really awesome. So these numbers are really interesting. I think Bernie comes out now. The spread has it at about five points in terms of uh, the RCP average. And so... You know, I think that's a solid one. I would prefer if it was more like seven, but I think Bernie's going to win. And hopefully what happens is the numbers you see on screen, if these numbers happen right here, and hopefully Biden comes in fourth, um, you know, or if he comes in fifth, that would be really ideal. Like if he does worse than Warren, that would be really cool because I'll bury Biden even more. But uh, we will find out what happens. But these numbers on screen, psh, I'm cool with that, man. I'm definitely cool with that. Bernie had 27, Buttigieg had 19. What we need is we need Bernie to hit 27 or higher. We need Buttigieg to stay where he's at at about 19, under 20. And then Klobuchar, we need her to stay under 15 as well as the two other candidates. That is the sweet spot. So if that if all of that happens, right, Bernie's over 25, Buttigieg is under 20, Klobuchar and the rest of them under 15. That's it. That's what we're looking for, baby.